to trample the world. And a lot of times, journalists, they want to interview me and they say, Flash, we, can't, we want you to explain to us how it was back then and how did you guys do it. And as I am explaining to the journalists, I'm looking at him, his eyes is going up in his head, and he's looking at me like I got a fucking third eye on my forehead. He's saying, what the fuck are you talking about? So, as I go to explain, right, I say, we did it with no computers, no technology, no social media, no help or whatsoever, just this. You see, we generated the music for the breakdancer and to make that music bed for the rappers 10 years before the first rap record. This is how we did it. We did it with this. A lot of times, when you're explaining something to somebody face to face, they don't really get it. So for the past three years, I talked to my people, Lenny, and I talked to Rip, and I talked to Fam, and I said, how can we get this message across where they can get it? They said, let's make a visual presentation of this so that they can see where these things happen. And this is how the birth of hip hop, people, places, and things. What do you think of the show? You see, sometimes you've got to show people things so that they can get it, and I definitely understand that. So, I come from a place where it was just little business. And, and little did I realize, by putting my fingertips on the record and extending the break to make a music bed, that it would create an industry that is the number one music in the world. Such a blessing. But then the big, then small business turned into big business. And artists started making, as opposed to going into the park and just freestyling, now there were records made. And people started producing big songs. A lot of them are my friends. And of course we dove into, we did, we did a song or two, and I'm gonna play one. And maybe you guys don't know our little song too. Stay with me. <laughs> yeah, baby. I remember that. Her, her, girl. Sometimes it makes me